hey guys how's it going uh, welcome back to the channel um, today I am going to uh, do the review for the uh, 1997 um, Subaru legacy wagon so basically this is the um, pretty much um, the bone stock you know this is not a GDP or anything this is not the uh, turbo version of the uh, Subaru GT I mean GDB uh, this is a little bit step down but it's not the uh, lowest level also so um, this is uh, BG uh, 20 I believe this is the uh, um, 2.0 liter uh, dual overhead can uh, 150 horsepower flat Subaru flat 4 um, uh, it's made it with the uh, five-speed uh, manual so all we drive manual transmission and um, this is not the um, um, uh, travel version of GTB but very similar well not the performance wise you know I'm, I'm similar means like the body um, like you can see the here is uh, there's a lip kit and and you can see the uh, uh, fog lights original fog lights and there, there's like a in, inside it has the uh, um, uh, more most steering wheels and I believe it is Ricardo seat but there's no stitching on it so uh, I can't really say it is Ricardo but it's definitely not the uh, regular uh, legacy seat though it's very um, um, comfy and very um, um, kind of like a sport type like a bucket seat you know like like a, it, it fits right you know uh, so anyway um, very clean car um, I just got it like um, last Monday I picked up from the pot so I just got registered today and got a license plate uh, I'll, I'll have a title in in the mail pretty soon so um, basically this is um, very um, solid car all we drive um, and uh, it has the uh, original Subaru uh, Alwaiwi I believe 15 or 16 something like that but yeah uh, I mean overall the car is in great shape you know and then like the five-speed manual it's it's fun to drive it is the clutch has no issue and the uh, engine has no issue it's very smooth so I would say this is um, overall a pretty good car I'll show you guys the inside in a few minutes and um very roomy um, let me see there you go all right uh, there's no paint fading spots or anything <clears throat> there's no damage there's uh, basically there's one scratch down here um, here you can see that there's a little bit of scratch and the uh, patch it up I guess uh, not patch it up they probably like repaint or something and uh, uh, a little down here and uh, pretty much that's it and even the uh, uh, why we has very clean there's no scratch or, or anything and then and the uh, the the trim lines are stay in good shape too like you can see the it is very uh, black and uh, it's not even faded color or anything yet and uh, yeah overall there's no scratch down here nothing nothing very nice car the inside was pretty roomy though I just kind of surprised you know uh, I know it's it's the uh, like 25 years old car but yeah it, it still looks pretty good the engine was really clean too and you know what I you know what I can say this is kind of like a high mileage car I mean probably this one of the the higher mileage car that I imported most of my cars are like low mileage you know but this one has 218,000 kilometer so about like 130,000 miles you know what one good thing about the Japan the high mileage car is not like the high mileage car from US <laughs> like you can see the shape of the car is you know it's well well maintained and there's a lot of uh, uh, maintenance has been done like even the timing belts change probably twice already so um, yeah overall wise the car looks very good let me uh, show you uh, the inside all right so here just the um, the trims are in in like new condition I, I would say like like all the electronic functions works fine 
and then he, he, here's the seat that I was talking about like you know, see that the side bolster or like like a kind of like a um, higher in the in so like you're, you're in snuggle fit you know uh, yeah so this is on the passenger side look at the uh, trims it is in like a like a almost new shape you know um, and this is the uh, see that uh, five-speed um, leather wrapped uh, steering, uh, not steering, yeah, steering, and also the uh, uh, shift knob also. And the steering wheel, you can see this is a Momo steering wheel. I believe this is the same steering wheel from the WRX, you know. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome car. Oh, well, I'm gonna show you some stuff here. So here's a 218,000 kilometer, which is about 130,000 miles. And uh, down here, it's the um, um, power folding mirror power mirror and this is the um, uh, fog lights and they have a parking light so I don't know it's uh, what's different with just regular lights and parking lights <laughs> anyway um, the uh, um, this is uh, uh, automatic climate control and um, the cassette player but it has a CD chainer in the back and down here uh, ashtray and some storage spot and this is the tow um, pass from was the ETC they call it electronic tow con control unit or something, and uh, it is for the um, for the Japan road. It's nothing to do with us here. And uh, this is the um, um, cup holder. It's swing that way, and there you go. It's pretty cool. And you push it back here, and here's a dashboard and the glove compartment box and i believe this is eight speaker system you know what i'm saying it's like down here is a one speaker up there is one right so this is total of four and um i'll show you in the back too and uh here's the um what's that called laser detector or the police laser detector i guess uh, anyway but i, I love sharing we this channel is awesome it just say that see that it's set normal it was really really good shape i mean i can't believe this is like like 218,000 kilometer car with the like the almost new steering wheel shape i, I don't know if they even changed it i don't think they changed it <laughs> anyway um yeah so um this is overall inside oh see that the seat looks totally different i mean even the back seat uh match and uh, it is pretty awesome seat I like it though. I mean, there's no um, um, fading or anything on the even on the seats. You know, like just the fabric trims are, are pretty uh, pretty awesome. All right, let me uh, show you in the back. And oh, um, this is the wire chain stickers. That's the did recently. Oh, this is the original carpet legacy. Oh, oh, yeah, there's one more thing here. See this. This is how to uh, push back the uh, uh, seat. Hey, that's pretty cool. I never seen that one before. You know, most of them are like a like a little ball that you you know move up and down. But yeah, hey, different one because Subaru. And here's a two more speaker so we have like four speaker up there the two speaker down here six that's regular total right total car i mean total six speaker is regular car uh I, but i found like two more speaker like two more twitter in the back too so see that ah look at this thing and these fabrics are different i mean it's not like a soft but it's not the rough too and um, I believe this is the seat can be uh, uh, and then there's a latch here so you can fold it flat or maybe maybe fold it front I guess all right let me show you in the back too here I said the uh, all-wheel drive ABS legacy oh I forgot to mention this is a TS type R so legacy TS type R it's an aluminum plate here and uh, here's a pretty um, 
clean inside and six disc CD changer and this um, the cover for the back and here is another smaller storage underneath it it has the uh, uh, spare wheel close that one and uh, let me start the car and I'll show you the engine too oh by the way I forgot to mention this that's um, the antenna go up and down when you turn on the um, radio so yeah it's kind of cool I mean it still works <laughs> I, I know some cars are not not uh, doesn't work anymore like that so on the passenger side it looks super nice and clean it's like a new one I mean, almost new one is I know it's like 20 25 years of her oh this is the uh, some change in there is a glove compartment but uh, not the uh, um, umbrus glove compartment sorry about that What do you think of the car? I'm selling this one too. It's not gonna be expensive. It's gonna be cheap though. So let me know if you guys are interested. You know, text me, send me the message, leave the comments. You know. Um, all right. Let me. Uh, oh, let me start the car. Car started up fine. Here's the gear, uh, and this is your automatic climate control. Uh, let me open the hood. Oh, headlights are in good shape too. Well, then I'll turn on the uh, I'll turn on the lights. So you guys can see it too. So Subaru Boxer Flat 4, I believe, it looks very clean and very nice. And here's, so this is all the uh, um, the maintenance they did. And they did a time and belt change here. And the battery is pretty new also. And the car is in very good shape. Paint is really nice though. I, I'm surprised that like you know that's kind of high mileage car, and um, with the uh, uh, better condition, I, d I don't really see it that much. You know, <laughs> not much car left like this. So it has uh, uh, LED lights. It's pretty nice touch, you know. Um, pretty uh, bright too. And uh, down there is the fog lights. So this is how it looks like at night and um pretty uh solid clean car all right guys um that's about it uh whatever guys you guys think it is um let me know if i'm saying wrong things just let me know i'm not like uh you know i don't really know everything so <laughs> yeah whatever the information that i'm giving you wrong please just Leave the comments and I'll appreciate that if you guys can you know if you guys can show me the way. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Alright guys. I see you later again. So um, um I won't have another car until like June. So in the meantime, um uh probably I'll I'll have I'll have five more cars in June. So anyway, um alright guys, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.